Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on my first stream. Um, the fact that you are here means a lot to me. So today we're going to be playing all the tutorial and beginner levels of Regex Crossword, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, Regex, for those of you who aren't familiar, stands for regular expression. Uh, it's pattern matching text, and it's mostly used for like validating emails and selecting text for replacement. Um, it's not very commonly used, but when you need it, you really need it. Um, now the thing about regex is that describing the syntax as esoteric and terse is being a little generous. So it makes for great crossword hints. Um, and with that, let's jump into this. All right, so here we have our first puzzle. Uh, we have A pipe B and A pipe C. So um, that pipe means or, right? So our first one says A or B, and our second one says A or Z. And since A is in both of those, we know that it's the answer. Awesome, so that validated in the next puzzle is coming up soon. All right, so these brackets define a character set, right? So whatever is inside of this is what this has to match. So we have A, B, or C, and we have B, D, or F. Now, B is in both A, B, and C, and B, D, and F, so we know that B is our answer. All right, so let's talk about this little up arrow. That up arrow means not. So our range of characters is A and B, and that up arrow not means that it cannot be A or B. Uh, then we have our standard range of characters here. We don't have a not symbol, so the characters that match this one are A, B, and C. So we need a character that matches A, B, and C and isn't A or B, so we know that it's C. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's the next one? Awesome. So this symbol right here, this star, splat, asterisk, whatever you want to call it, uh, means that there is zero or more of that character. All right, so here we have A, so this pretty much has to be A, and it also matches our A star. Um, this one says A, B star, um, which means that you have an A, and then that B, there can be zero or more of them. Um, since we only have two, like, since we only have two blocks and they're vertical like this, um, this A, B um, can only be A. Did that make sense? All right, let's validate this and move on to the next puzzle. Oh, now we have a question mark. Um, an error, a question mark means that you have zero or one of that character, um, which means that since we have two slots here, it pretty much has to be A, B, but let's validate that against the other ones. So we have A pipe C, which is A or C, and A matches that. And then we have B, which is just B. Cool. Um, plus means that you have one or more of that character. So since we see this plus here, we know that these both have to be A, but let's take a moment to make sure that they validate against the other expressions. So you have A pipe B, which is A or B, A pipe Z, which is A or Z, and A matches both of those. And we validate. Awesome. All right, so this parentheses around something means that it's a capture group, right? So we're going to capture the first A in our string of characters, um, and then this slash one here, um, what that means is that we're going to repeat that capture group, right? Um, this is A pipe B, A matches that, right? So that forms the capture group. And then this one is repeating that A from the capture group. Um, and validating it matches the regex we have, uh, or the other two regex patterns, um, we have A or B, A or B. And a matches both of those. Awesome. We're making quick time through these. Should be nice. <laughs> All right. Um, so now we have brackets, right? So brackets means whatever comes before them um, is repeated that number of times. So it's a minimum of two, and that comma nothing means that you can have up to as many as you want. So we know based on this top one that this is going to be two A's because we have a minimum of two A's, but let's validate it against the other two options. So this one is B or A because we have our pipe again. 
And then this one is a with one. That means there is exactly one of that character. Sweet. Moving along. Oh, this is cool. Um, so this slash s, if I remember correctly, means that it's any character. Um, so I think since we have a slash s slash s and it's a or slash s, we can do b. Is that right? Oh, no, that's not right. Uh, hold on. Let me pop out the help real quick and like check this. Let's see. Slash s is white space. Right. S is for space. Just kidding. So I just put a single space in there because that's going to match our slash s right here and it's going to match our or slash s right here. Sweet. So that validated. Oh, but I think we're done. Are we done with all the tutorials? Awesome. So then we're going to pop over here back to our main one. So you'll notice that uh, most of these are filled out. I did not play these like right before this session. Um, I played these a couple of months ago when I first discovered regex uh, crossword and when I was first like thinking about it. Um, I've tried to make sure that I haven't done these recently, which is why I got our slash s wrong. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's hop into these. So these are going to be a little bit more complicated. Um, I don't remember. So um, Megan in chat just asked me, how did I find regex crossword? I don't remember. I think I was looking up how to do a particular regex string and it like popped up. There are a lot of really awesome regex emulators online um, that are great for like testing out regex and like making sure that it matches what you're expecting it to match. Um, and I think that's how I discovered it. All right, so let's look at this one. So we have a character set here, um, and we cannot have S, P, E, A, or K in it. And then we've got one or more of not the letters in speak. Cool, good to know. Now let's look at this one. Um, we can have the letters H, E. Um, by the way, those pipes, um, they do mean or, and you can put multiple characters before or after them. This is the first time we've kind of seen that, so I wanted to point it out. So you have H, E, L, L, or we have one or more O's. Cool. So I think that if we pop over to this one, we'll probably be able to figure out which of these options are supposed to go in here. So now we can have E, P, I, P, or E, F. That's my cat, Pearl. She's very noisy and friendly. Um, and <laughs> hold on. Let me pick her up so she'll stop whining. This is Pearl. Say hi, Pearl. It's P-E-R-O because I'm a nerd. There. Can you be happy? Okay. Now she'll be quiet. <laughs> so we have EP or IP or EF. Um, since none of the options here end in I, we know that it has to be E, which means we kind of know this one has to be H, right? Because that's the only way it's going to match this option. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Nymphadora in chat just asked what sh what's this? Um, I'm playing regex crossword. So now we have um, a character set that has the letters in please in it. Um, we've got this E repeated in here. Um, this is mostly to make it the letters in please because that additional E doesn't actually affect the character set. Um, it's only if you have kind of like pipes in your character set that the location of that'll matter. Um, so we've got one or more of the letters in please. Now we know it can't be, um, this one can't be any of the letters in speak, right? Um, which kind of removes that P and that E and that A and that S, um, which leaves us only with L. Cool. All right, cool. So this starts with E and it can be EP or EF and P is the only one that's included in the word please. Oh, it spelled out help. <laughs> That's kind of a heartbreaking start to your first puzzle puzzle on beginners. All right, so let's see. Um, this first one has a capture group and it's got ors in it. So um, I can have either an A, B, or a C in this first one. And then this second one has to match whatever came out of the capture group. Oh, now we have some more challenging ones. All right, so this 
dot here indicates that it can be any character, white space, digits, symbols, whatever. And this flat indicates that there can be zero or more of them. Um, this M question mark means that you have zero or one M's. Um, let's see. Ooh, this one just has an O. That's cool. So we know that we have to have an O either here or here. And then we have that dot splat again, which indicates that you can have zero or more of absolutely any character. All right, so we know that there has to be an O in here. And there can't be an O in this A, B, or C, which means we know that the second one has to be an O. <laughs> um, Nymphadora over in chat just asked, so what made you decide to stream? Um, <laughs> Which is kind of funny to me because part of the reason I decided to stream are, are the two people chatting back and forth in chat right now. Um, so my friend Nymphadora1 um, is a streamer and I thought it was really inspiring how accessible and fun she made it. Um, and I started like watching streams because of her. And <laughs> then my other friend in chat, Megan, um, who was kind of asking me those initial questions about Regex crossword, um, She's the one that introduced me to Noop Cat and gave me the idea of um, streaming programming. So there you go. <laughs> That's why I decided decided to start streaming. All right, so um, let's go back to this. So um, to match this regex stream um, or this regex pattern, it has to be A B O E or S K. And since we know that this one has to be O in order to match this one. This one has to be E in order to match this one. All right, and then over here we have F, E, and B, E as our regex strings that match E. Um, these parentheses form a capture group, but because we don't have that slash one, um, it's not repeated. So um, we kind of know that this has to be B, E because the only option for this one is A, B, or C. So we put that B there. <laughs> and then um, because we have this B repeated, we know that this one has to be B in order to match it. Awesome. Hitting that validate button. Okay, so uh, Nymphadora is saying I need to category on my stream, but I don't know how to add that. So I guess I'm just going to have to add that after the stream or maybe next time. Um, I tagged it with programming and software development, which should hopefully help out, but all right, let's see. So our pattern here, so we have another character set that has the letters Cobra in it, and we know there's one or more of each of those letters. Um, our dot means any character, and we can have one or more of that any character, and then it has to be repeated um, because we've formed this capture group, and now um, we're using that capture group again with this slash one. So let's see. I don't think we've quite figured it out. Oh, but this one here um, kind of helps us. Uh, this one here, because it's got that up arrow, which means not, and it includes every single letter in the word Cobra except for the O. Um, we know that this one has to be an O because it said that, like this one says that it can't be C, B, R, or A. Um, and then we've got our plus for one or more characters. Um, and because we're repeating the capture group from this one right there, we know that this one has to be an O. All right, let's see. So, <laughs> um, this one says that it can't be any of these letters, and I'm looking at this. So, um, this regex string right here says that whatever matches this has to be either A, B, um, one or more O's or OR. Um, and because R and B are both forbidden by this not every letter except O and Cobra, this one has to be O. And then this one has to be O because we're repeating this capture group. So it looks like the answer to our beginner puzzle of ghost is which is kind of spooky and adorable. <laughs> All right, we got people chatting and a very creepy 
face and chat. That's fun. <laughs> All right, let's see this one. Oh, this one's really cool. Okay, so this is going to be exciting because we get to pick any of these pretty much. Um, so here we have a dot, which means any character or symbols or whatever. And then we have a question mark, um, which means that we have zero or one of those. And then we have another dot, which is one or more of those. And let's see. Ah, okay, so this is cool. So this backslash um, means that you're escaping the character, I think. Oh, no, wait, sorry, that's the other direction. So when it's a forward slash, you're escaping the character. When it's a backslash, you're not. So uh, this one has to be two backslashes if we put something there. Let's see. This one establishes a character set with a star in it, right? Um, hmm. That's kind of interesting. I think this means that this has to be a star, which would match this. And I think this means this can be a star. All right. So let me explain kind of um, what I'm thinking here, right? So I'm thinking that because this has square brackets around the star, that star is being treated as a character and it's not being treated as a zero or more splat, right? Okay, so this plus as usual means one or more of whatever character matches that character, right? Now, this slash right here, at first, I thought it was a forward slash, right? And forward slash escapes the special meanings that regex adds to characters so that you can match things like plus signs. Um, but it's not. It's a backslash. And backslash means nothing. <laughs> so what that means, I think, is that this regex string is saying that there is one or more, which is what the plus sign means, of the backslash character, which is why I think this is two backslashes back to back. Um, dots mean any character, right? So a star and a slash both match that. And just because like we've got the plus sign here saying one or more doesn't mean that they have to be the same character. It just means that they have to match that pattern, right? So like both of these match that pattern of anything, right? Uh, then over here we have our dot, right, in our question mark, um, that means there's zero or one of that, and dot, as we mentioned, can be anything. And then we have dot, which means one or more of anything. So star slash should match that one as well. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure whether it would be like, oh, you have one of like any character, and then you have one that matches this, or whether it would just be like, oh, you have two characters that match dot plus. I, I think it could go either way, but it, it should work. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about this one, so I'm going to hit enter. Oh, hold on. Enter and validate. Okay, that worked. That worked. Okay, I'm really excited about this because I was a little nervous about that one. To be honest, I always get a little bit nervous when I hit the validate that I've just forgotten how regex works, but that worked, which is great. Um, Snot Rocket Scientist just asked me if I studied computer science. Um, so I got a degree in information technology with a concentration in software development, and I've been doing uh, web development professionally for seven years now. So kind of, I mean, I never officially studied computer science, but I'm, you know, kind of know it by now. <laughs> All right, let's look at this next puzzle. So we have forward slash D. That means any digit, and I'm sure about that this time. This is not a repeat of the slash S incident. Um, and then we have square brackets, which means that this character has to match two, four, eight, or zero. Cool. Let's look at this one. So this one says it's 18, 19, or 20. Um, and because this is gonna match slash D, we have no idea which of these it's gonna be. So let's look at this one. All right, so this character right here um, is gonna match this character set, um, which is that six, seven, eight, or nine. Um, the only one that's in both two, four, eight, and zero, and six, seven, eight, and nine is eight. So at least we know that one for sure. Now, this one ends in a slash D, which can be any digit. So that one's a little bit harder to figure out. 
that. Let's look at this one. Um, so over here we have an or. This one can be five, nine, or seven, right? So now that we know that this one can be five, nine, or seven, we can look at this one and say which of these ends in nine. Um, and the 19 does. So we now know that this is 19, right? Um, let's see. And because we know that this one, um, the only one that matches both of these is nine, we can pop over here and say that this one is going to be four. Cool. Validate. Oh, that was all of the beginner ones. All right. Uh, I guess technically that was all the puzzles that I said I was going to play this time. Um, do y'all just kind of want to like chat about regex and ask questions, or would you prefer that I hop into the intermediate puzzles? Looking at you, chat. Tell me what you think. Because a 22 minute stream is, is pretty short. Pretty short. Thank you very much, Nymphadora One, for your support. Um, I like Regex, um, partially because I like puzzles. So, like, it very much um, scratches that like Sudoku crossword itch, which is why I think this is a really cool um, way of kind of learning Regex. Um, and I think it's also important that, like, like I mentioned in the intro, when you need Regex, you really need it. Like, there's pretty much nothing else that's going to scratch that, like, um, <laughs> there's nothing else that's going to kind of scratch that, um, like, email validation or selecting um, a particular end of a stream issue. So, like, I think that knowing regex when you need to know regex is kind of important and really helpful and valuable. Let's see. So Snot Rocket Scientist is starting their master's in autumn. Congratulations. Uh, I assume you're starting your master's in computer science? Let's see. I think it's sounding like we want to just kind of like chat about regex rather than solve intermediate problems based on the fact that I'm getting questions in chat and not like requests to continue playing. So we can do that. That's fine. I'll hop over to my other scene. Um, let me know if chat is showing up in this box over here. It should be. Uh, here in OBS. Yeah. I think regex is really cool. Um, you have like your square brackets to figure out character sets. There's a lot of different ways to kind of like write something, which we kind of saw already. Um, like if you want to say or, you can set up like a character set, or you can use that pipe for um, or messages, or for like or patterns. Um, I recently had to use regex um, at work because we had this like massive block that needed to be broken up into like 255 characters. Um, but I couldn't break it up like in the middle of it. Like I had to break it up at like the end of um, tags. Um, so that was one case where regex was pretty much the only tool that would do the job because I could like look through the entire like string or sentence and like figure out exactly where it needed to be broken up. Are there any cases where you've had to use regex either in projects or at your workplace or other cases where you find that you need to use it? All right, so Snot Rocket Scientist is using regex in a project to validate the format of a code. That 
sounds like exactly what you use regex for. <laughs> uh, let's see. Boogie Lightning has heard regex deemed as black magic coding. And I would disagree. I think that it's um, it's light magic, good magic. <laughs> it's definitely got some, um, yeah. It's definitely got some like esoteric syntax, um, but it's very concise because of that. Like when you need to like communicate a very complicated thing, like I need to break at 255 characters or like for emails, you're like, this is going to be a string. This is going to be like an at symbol. Um, it can communicate that very cleanly, which is nice. All right. Megan Chu is using online tools to practice regex or not to practice regex but to like write it and format it and lifts with a straight bar is parsing monitoring metrics that's really cool all right so i'm gonna launch into the intermediate puzzles even though um i thought i was just gonna do beginner and tutorial and then after that we'll just kind of wrap up the stream and it'll be fun Let's see, so we have UB or IE or AW is our first pattern. Um, and then we have a character set that has not AD um, and we've got zero or more of that. And the only starting character in our org here is that A is a not AD and also begins AW. So we know that this one has to be W. Um, here we're kind of seeing we're used to separate like sets of characters and I think that's something that's really helpful and something that um, is kind of nice about regex is that there's a lot of different ways to say something but they've all kind of done it different ways. So for example if you want to say this character is going to be in this set of characters you use square brackets um, but with these these um, these pipes or ors um, you can have um, several characters and try to match against those. So for example, um, because this one starts with W, we know this is W, E, L, and it can only match that. Like I can't put an A, L or um, an A, R in here. Let's see, this one has to start with, or this one has to include um, N, O, T, A, D, and this one has to include T, U, V, E. So T is in both of those. And then O is in both N-O-T-A-D and morph. <laughs> this one ends in dot, which is, I think, um, oops, hold on. I'm gonna try and zoom in really quick. Hopefully that helps. Um, so this is morph dot. That dot means that it can be any character and our square brackets indicate that it's in a character set which is how we know that this has to be O, but this L is allowed even though Borf's up there. All right, so I've zoomed in a little bit to help out, to validate. Yay! Got a new achievement. Those are some really cute achievements, by the way. Those would make great enamel pins. All right, let's see. So this first character has to match B, Q, or W. And then these characters have to match A, W, and E, and we've got one or more of them. So we'll slap a W in there. And then over here, um, all of these characters have to match R, A, and K, or rank. And A is included in that, so I'll include that. Let's see. We've got A, L, P in here. Now, um, we've matched B, Q, W, which means that these two characters are going to have to match this um, capture group, which is the PR or the LE. Let's see. So this one pretty much has to be L because that's the only one that is an AL and P, which is this uh, character set right here. Now we can have one or more of AL and P, um, but when we see this K here, we know that a K has to be included, which means it has to be there. And since we're placing this, let's um, let's check that it matches the other one, which is this character has to fit within R, A, and K. And that's true, so we know we're good. All right, let's see. We've started with L, which means this next one has to be E. 
Um, when we look over here, we have a capture group with PR or ER or EP, right? So we know that it has to be ER or EP because it can't be, it can't start with a P because we've already got an E here. So if we look over here at rank, the only one that's going to match that is ER because that's also included in rank. Awesome. Cool. Time for the next puzzle. Let's see what we have here. We've got a dot, which means any character, and then we've got a dot inside of a capture group, and then we've got a repetition of whatever comes from that first capture group. That's not great for helping us narrow down choices, um, but it should help at some point. Let's see. Let's start at the bottom. So we've got square brackets around the word towel, which means that all three of these characters have to be um, letters from the word towel because our square brackets uh, mean that the character um, is included in that character set. Let's see. Oh, here we have that forward slash. Did you, oh, this is Ruby. She said, hello. She just dropped in out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, this forward slash escapes the character. Um, I think dash can be used for ranges, which is why it needs to be escaped. So this one um, would be ty dash, or it would be ry, and then nothing. I think. That's what I think this is saying. Let's see. And this one can be cat, for, or fat. All right. Cool. So this is dot star. This is way one or more, and it includes the letters. W-A-Y, ooh, oh wait, this one's helpful. Okay, so we have square brackets around um, the letters in the word RAM, which means that we can look at this and say the end character for cat, four, and fat, the only one that has a letter that ends in RAM is R, which means we know for a fat, oops, that this one is four. Sweet. So that's the first thing that's kind of helpful. That's great. <laughs> Let's see. I think I've got something else here that may help me. So I'm looking at towel. Um, and when I look at this one, this forms a capture group. And this is a repetition of this capture group, which means that this one right here has to be repeated here. So if I look at this, this letter has to be within the word towel. And then if I look at this, R isn't in towel, right? So I know that this has to be T because that's the only one that's going to show up in both of these, right? And I know that it has to show up in both of these. Um, if this starts with T, then this has to be Y and this has to be dash. Yeah. Making some progress and that matches with this pattern because uh, this dot right there can be any character right cool uh, now we can look at this last one so this is OH and O is the only character in that character set that is in both towel and OH right everybody with me sweet okay let's look at this one it still matches this one because we've got dot any character so this o matches any character y can be found in way so now we've got one more w can be found in both way and towel awesome yes okay Whew. the nerves when you click that validate button and it's like a more complicated one they're very real they're very real all right let's see so this one it has to be in J U N G N T because that's our character set, and this means that we've got zero or more of it. And this one has to be within this character set of D E and F. Um, D is the only character that's in both. Let's see. Let's keep moving this way. Okay, this one's also helpful. So that up arrow means not, right? So the character that fits here cannot be. DJ in or you 
um, which just so happens to be all the characters that are in Junt, but T. So that's handy. Um, the other thing that's handy about this one is this P. So that's not in a character set. So we know that this absolutely has to be a P. Yeah. <laughs> now this last one, um, it has to be within I can, and we've got zero or more of them. So I'm looking at this. N is in both Junt and I can. Sweet. All right, let's see. We have narrowed this one down to APA and OP because OLK is not going to match our P right here, right? And let's see. So if we look at this, um, we're now looking at MNO. So this DEF character is done. We don't have a splat and we don't have a plus behind it, which means that we've already matched that. Um, so now we're looking at this MNO and the character that matches MNO and OPI is O. So we know that this one has to be I and we can track that that matches because I is included in I can. Sweet. So now we're looking here. So we got MNO and we're trying to match that and we've only got one out of this capture group that matches that. We kind of know it's N. Let's see. And because that's N, this has to be A. And that matches because after our P, we have another character set that has ABC and A has to be included in that. And then we get to this last one and we have the option of C or V from this character set. And then this character set limits us to C because C is the only thing in both CV and I can. Awesome. Next puzzle. All right, so this first character cannot be N, R, or U. And the reason for that is we have a character set with an up arrow, that means not, right? And then this character has to match runt, or the letters in runt, right? Um, so T is the only one that is not in run and is in run, right? Uh, splat, as always, means zero or more. Now that we've matched that, um, we know that the next one has to be either no or on, right? And if we look at this one, we see that we've got just a straight zero here that's, un or not a zero, we've got an O here that's unmodified. Um, so we know that that has to be O because this one is O, and if we go back here, we have N-O or O-N, we know that this one has to be O-N. Oh, this is exciting, this is fun. Okay, so if you look, this N falls into our parentheses around a dot. We've seen a lot of parentheses around a dot, but a capture group does not necessarily have to be formed that way. The capture group is just the parentheses. Um, this dot indicates that it can be any character, right? Um, but because we've captured that in and we see this forward slash one, that forward slash one indicates that we're going to repeat that capture group, which means we know that this one has to be an in. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's go back up here. So let's see. We have this one has to be within the word runt. Um, we have the option of we can either have D, we can have FU, or we can have UF. Um, this is family friendly, so we're not going to go with FU, we're going to go with UF, and also because this U, which is the starting character, um, fits within front. <laughs> All right, let me see. So we started off with an O, now we're looking at um, this dot star. Dot means absolutely any character, symbols, white space, whatever. Star means zero or as many as you want, so I could put this F here just fine. Let's see, by the way, um, this hat right here, um, square brackets defines the character set, and these characters can be H, A, or T, um, and they're going to have to go here at the end, otherwise we'd just have a blank space. And since we've got this up here that says that all of the characters in this row have to be either N or A, we know that this one has to be A. Awesome. So let's pop back over here. Let's see. So what's nifty about this is that we have our capture group and we have our splat that means zero or more. Um, but then we also have this D-O. We know that those 
absolutely have to be those characters because they don't have any like square brackets around them or anything like that. They're just straight those characters, which means that these are going to have to match those. What's nifty about this is we can check. So this says that it has to be either FU, UF, or D, and then you can have um, one or more of these, but they don't have to be the same ones repeating, right? So we have U, and then we have our F, and then you can also pick a D, right? And it's still part of this same pattern. Sweet. Uh, speaking of which, since we have an O here and we're looking at this pattern, um, the only pattern here that has an O in it is this FO, right? Which means that this kind of has to be an F. And let's check that that matches. Yep. So we've got dot star, FF matches that. Let me put that back. I didn't mean to move that. Um, so yeah, our F is going to fit perfectly in that dot star. Let's see. So now this one has to fit, um, the character that we pull from here has to match the characters in front. R is both in our little, um, or capture group here, and it's also in front, which is over here. So we know that that's what it is. And now we're at the last one. Sweet. So we have an N, or we have an A. And it has to be within rent, so it has to be an end. That validated, right? Yeah. Oh, we're done with intermediate. All right. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who joined my stream today. Um, I really appreciate it. I didn't know we were going to make it through tutorial beginner and intermediate. So at my next stream, um, I'll be streaming advanced. If you like this video, please give it a like. Um, if you want to see more, hit follow. If you liked Regex Crossword, um, I tried to put links in the description below. If they're not there, they'll be there afterwards. Um, I'll also tweet them out at Jail Codes, um, or you can look up, hey, hey, movie. Or you can just look up Regex Crossword. You'll find it. It's great. You can also um, donate if you like seeing me play Regex Crossword, but don't want to play it yourself. That's fine, too. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to roll the credits now. Bye. All right, I've hit roll credits. Aw, thank you so much, Hi Minty. All right, so I'm trying to roll credits in OBS, and it's not working. So I'm just going to say thank you. Thank you, everyone who followed. Thank you to the creators of Regex Crossword for making this incredible game. Um, thank you to my wonderful mods, um, Lifts with a Straight Bar and Boogie Lightning. I really appreciate you being here today. Um, thank you so much, everybody who is in chat, Snot Rocket Scientists, um, Nim and Megan. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day.